Back Andy, here we are. We're going to talk about the right hand now, holding the pick very carefully between the thumb and the index finger, like we're forming a cross. Like we're forming a cross. Okay. And the pick goes in between. And then pros tend to tilt the pick slightly to walk back towards the wrist or forearm. So we're using the side of the point. Now that's that's not essential. In the book, it's straight up and down. But that's how we're holding the pick. And what we're learning to do here is, is keep those three fingers separate. Keep them separate. Don't bunch them up. Keep them like that. And the little finger is going to, we're going to learn, this is something that a lot of people struggle with, is to rest that little finger on the soundboard. The top here is the soundboard. That little finger moves. If I'm on the big string, the little finger might be up against the first string. If I'm on the first string, you know, this high string, it might be back down here. And there's no pressure on that first finger. The thing is, I'm not allowed to look at this hand. Andy was very good today. He told us we can't look at the right hand. So what we learned to do was play each string separately. Every afternoon, Dave goes buying eggs. Every afternoon, Dave goes buying eggs. E A D G B. -E. Normally, I'd just be looking at my left hand. That left hand is just relaxed there. The right side of your body is supporting the guitar. Now, the strings don't just have names, they have numbers. And the big string, the one on the, the top, which is really the bottom string we said, is number six. Now, let's do that again. We're picking, supporting the right hand. Six, fifth, fourth, third, second, first. Again, six, fifth, fourth, third, second, first. Because we're filming, I'm, I'm looking at you, but I should be looking at my left hand you know, normally, or the music. So that's that's called picking, and that's what we call the open string exercise. The guitar has got six strings, or what we call six open strings. Okay, so that's just a little bit of help there, so you can start to pick the notes as opposed to strumming the chords. We pick the notes, and we strum the chords. Good on you, Andy. Bye-bye.